Hello everyone, <coughs> welcome to the class. So in this video I am going to explain about a new concept that is Ampola. Okay, Ampola. So what is Ampola? So generally Ampola is called reversal of polarity. It's a German word. So generally reverse of polarity. The meaning of Ampola in German that is reverse of polarity. So what is definition of this Ampola? The situation in which a synthon of polarity opposite to that normally associated with the required function group must be used is called Ampola. So the situation in which a synthon, synthon is a hypothetical part, that means it is a synthetical, synthetic reagent, generally we, this term used in retrosynthetic analysis. So the synthon of polarity, that means the starting material polarity is exactly opposite to that normally associated with the required functional group. So that means what are the functional group having a characteristic polarity. So if it is reversible, if it is reversible then that character is called Ampolan character. Okay. Or in other words, Ampolan or polarity inversion in organic chemistry is the chemical modification of a functional group with the aim of the reversal of polarity of that group. This modification allows secondary reactions of this functional group that would otherwise not possible. It's a simple. That means you are doing a chemical modification of a functional group with the aim of reversal of polarity of that particular group. So you have an aim to modify the polarity of that particular functional group to reverse reversal of polarity. And with that modification, you are going to perform other reactions which generally not possible with the original polarity. Okay, let us discuss some retrosthetic reactions. For example, if we have a diketone, if we have a diketone, this is a retrosynthetic arrow. If you do disconnection or retrosynthesis of this, so if we consider this a target molecule, so if you do retrosynthesis of this, so generally this gives you two synthons. That is, one is carbonium and one more is carbocation. That means the bond is forming by the reaction of minus charge and plus charge, right? So here you are getting two synthons. Synthon, this is synthon 2. Consider this is synthon 2 and this is synthon 3. So this synthon 2 is generally it is acetone. Okay, it is acetone. Imagine it is acetone because this resembles that means this is corresponds to the enolate of acetone. Whereas the charge on this third synthon, if we consider that does not corresponding to the polarity normally associated with the alpha carbon. So if you consider alpha position of any carbonyl group, generally you will expect like this negative charge, right? Because of phenolate formation, you will expect negative charge. But in this case, especially you are observing a reversal of the polarity, right? Reversal of the polarity. So this is called actually ampolan, ampolan nature, okay? That means generally alpha carbon to the carbonyl carbon is generally which is nucleophilic okay because but in this case you are getting a positive charge which is exactly reverse reversal to the original functional group so that is the character called ampolan character that means if you want to get this positive charge at this carbon so your synthon may be that is your synthetic uh, starting material may be bromide that means this carbon should connect with the, an electron with the drawing that is electronegative atom. So this is the ampolan reagent. This is ampolan reagent where the alpha carbon has a reverse reversal charge. That means reversal of polarity with the original functional group. So actually your original molecule should have should have alpha carbon negative charge, but in this case we are having a positive charge. This is called ampolan reagent. If you carry out the synthesis with this. So take this acetone, okay, treat with the base, suppose sodium hydroxide, okay, with this alpha halo ketone, what happens, this sodium hydroxide abstract the proton from here, 
proton from here the alpha carbon will generate a negative charge with a negative charge nucleophile this nucleophile attack at the electrophile and gives you your target molecule but in this case we observed a reversal of polarity at the alpha carbon this is called ampolar nature Let us take another example. Consider a target molecule which is alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid. Alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid. Consider this is a target molecule. Now do the retrosynthesis analysis. So if you do CC bond cleavage here. So generally you will get a positive charge on this carbon which is uh, acceptable because it is connected to OH and one more C double bond o OH and here you are having negative charge. But generally carbonyl carbon it should have always positive charge but in this case you are getting again negative charge which is opposite to your original functional group characteristic. So this is called actually ampolong nature okay this is called ampolong nature so that means if you want, want to get this negative charge at this position the starting metal may be cyanide and this if you want to get this positive charge at this position so the aldehyde may be major that means if you want to prepare your target molecule okay you have to use two starting materials one is aldehyde with the hydrogen cyanide so the addition reaction between this hydrogen cyanide and aldehyde gives you cyanide and further hydrolysis gives you your required alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid but in this overall retrosynthesis if you observe if you observe here this case you can observe this ampolar nature that means where this carbonyl carbon is getting negative charge but actually the carbonyl carbon should be positive that means electrophilic but this case it is reversal of polarity okay so in this case cyanide also considered as cyanide also considered as an unpolung nature unpolung reagent okay it considered as unpolung reagent okay so we have discussed two examples in the first example the alpha carbon alpha carbon to the carbonyl should have always negative charge but in that case we have negative you have positive charge which is opposite to original functional group characteristic that is called ampolong nature and in this case okay in this case the carboxylic acid that means the carboxylic acid carbonyl carbon has negative charge in this case which should be which should which should uh, which is exactly opposite to the original carboxylic acid so if you have original carboxylic acid okay the carbonyl carbon this carbonyl carbon will have always positive charge but in this case we are getting negative charge which is opposite to this characteristic so that is the reason this is called ampolar character so let us take another example so this is another important example this is Organo sulfur compound that is 13 dithions. Okay, 13 dithions. So, this 13 dithions also acts as ampolar reagent. Ampolar reagent. Okay, this dithion chemistry is the classical example of polarity inversion. Okay, so how to prepare this dithions? So, what are, what are the dithions and how to prepare them? Let us discuss about this. Okay, so. So this is actually called 1,3-dithiene, okay, 1,3-dithiene, which is a cyclic, cyclic thioacetate, cyclic thioacetate, okay, so that means you have a cyclohexane, that means it is a 1,3-dithiene, cyclohexane, 
Metalohexane. Metalohexane. So these one three dithienes also uh, that is they acts as a ampollen reagent. Okay, ampollen reagent. So how to prepare this one three dithienes? One three dithienes. The reaction of aldehyde with the 1,3 propane diol in presence of acid or photic acid or Lewis acid generally gives you your required 1,3 diethyl. Okay. What are the starting materials here? The carbonyl compound that is either aldehyde or ketone. We are taking aldehyde here. Okay. Aldehyde, you are treating with 1,3 propane, 1,3 propane dithiol in protic acid with protic acid or Lewis acid generally gives you 1,3 dithiol. So the mechanism involved in this, the mechanism involved in this is the carbonyl, carbonyl group, that means carbonyl compounds. Here we have aldehyde, generally they undergo nucleophilic addition reactions. So your one more substrate is 1,3-propane dithiol. So this sulfur can act as a nucleophile, okay. So now in presence of acid so this nucleophile packet is carbonyl okay, which gives you this is sulfonium and followed with a loss of proton gives us intermediate followed by again the nucleophilic attack gives the loss of water molecule gives you required 1,3 dithiane 1,3 dithiane if you observe carefully the proton okay the proton present at this second position okay the proton present at this second position is weakly acidic that means weakly acidic the pKa value of this proton is 31 so which is weakly acidic so that means if you use any base you can remove this proton okay you can remove this proton so now let us treat this one with the n butyl lithium which is a strong base which abstract the proton and gives you Which is two lithio one three by three one three by three. observe carefully in this reaction what happens your starting material is aldehyde so from this aldehyde you have synthesized a dithiol and you using a base
you know generate it take card binyam here so if you consider this if you consider this carbonyl carbon because of this electronegative oxygen this carbonyl carbon always get positive charge this is down so carbonyl carbon is positive and that means it is electrophilic that's why it is undergoing electrophilic and for nucleophilic addition reactions whereas the same thing after modification this carbonyl carbon okay this carbonyl carbon becomes nucleophilic becomes nucleophilic okay that means same carbonyl carbon this is masked carbonyl carbon that's all so that means what happens here you have changed the polarity from electrophilic to nucleophilic or positive to negative so this concept is reversal of reversal of polarity so this is called ampullon polarity okay ampullon character okay so because of this negative charge this can act as a nucleophile so that it can undergo different kind of reactions like uh, that means it can react with the uh, alkyl halides primary and secondary alkyl halides or carbonyl compounds or epoxides etc so there are several synthetic applications with this nucleophile that means a derived masked carbonyl that is masked protected carbonyl carbon we have lot of synthetic applications which we will discuss in the next video thank you